Hey, what's up guys? So a couple of months ago, I made a video where I essentially faked a EVP recording using uh, my voice as source material, some static recorded off a radio, and then a plugin called Futzbox, if I believe. And uh, I got some very strongly worded emails uh, because of that um, since then um, from people that have had their, I guess, worldview questioned. And uh, I kind of wanted to uh, explore more of um, the, I guess, uh, ghost hunting um, tactics and how they are easily faked and things like that. So I'm going to kind of, I've been really interested in this uh, gentleman uh, named Huff uh, from Huff Paranormal. He creates these uh, really elaborate looking, uh, they're called spirit boxes. What they are essentially is an amplifier. Uh, a lunchbox amp with uh, two guitar pedals on either side. One is a, uh, a noise suppressor slash gate, and the other is a uh, guitar reverb, uh, kind of like this one right here. Uh, not quite this one, but uh, yeah. So they there's uh, audio that comes in from a, a particular uh, radio scanning device that's, that quickly goes through a... Uh, little snippets of the radio and plays them in chunks and what happens is the gate will uh, eliminate the uh, static and only let through I guess uh, things that are above a certain amplitude human speech uh, or things like that um, so I'm going to kind of explore um, how you go about um, manufacturing these sort of things and before I start um, uh, Mr. Huff uh, no uh, disrespect uh, personally. Uh, personally, I think you're you, you, you know you're a pretty cool guy. Uh, maybe we can get a pint. Uh, agree to disagree and whatever. Uh, I'm not attacking you personally. I am. Um, I guess I'm challenging your work uh, professionally. So I'm not gonna use any personal attacks or anything like that. So uh, yeah, basically this is my spirit box. No, I'm just joking. This is a this is a little synth that I made, a little noisemaker synth that I made back in the day. Um, I don't have, I have an amp, as you saw, and I also have these lights that I bought off Amazon. This is kind of what he uses to uh, accentuate the uh, the speaker, the inside. They're really elaborate uh, boxes, just to look up uh, uh, Huff Spirit Box and things like that. Uh, I don't have any crystals, but I, I, I do have a doorknob. And I also have a, a CPU heatsink, so I think that'll be good. So uh, let's hop into it. So <laughs> what I did is I have a microphone behind me um, that's facing the wall. It's just one of those microphones that's always hooked up. And uh, I recorded uh, that microphone. I recorded it uh, uh, while I was watching to catch a predator. <laughs> so that's my source material. The trick is to use uh, obscure uh, source material um, of human speech, obviously. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, obviously, it's a little bit, uh, I guess, noisy and quiet. It's a All right, so I'm going to add a utility just to boost the gain. It's a boost it up a bit more. All right, so that should be okay. I don't, don't want to blast your ears or mine. All right, so there's a lot of uh, static in there. So we're going to use a gate, which uh, is essentially the uh, the first part of the processing. So what happens is it goes from a, a radio or sound source or an app, and it runs into a guitar pedal, which, which is, as far as I believe, a gate and a noise suppressor. So what that does is that only, it's basically to quiet your guitar. So when you're not playing anything on your guitar, the gate is closed, no volume goes through. But when the gate, um, when the when the volume goes beyond a certain amplitude, the gate will open and sound will go through. So that's basically what happens when the, when the, the radio or the app is scanning through whatever. Uh, and there's videos of them using uh, police scanners as well as source material. But we'll get into that in a sec. So we have the gate on here. It's going to get the threshold right. And we're going to just get the release a little bit. All right. All right, 
So we're gonna get that get that going. Okay. So there's that. So the next part is uh, some noise suppression. Um, this is done usually in post, I believe, uh, but it is a um, a technique. And what noise does is it it has like this profile of, of static. And uh, when you're recording like a bass guitar or something, DI, you get some static uh, and, you know, you use something called X noise to get rid of that static. There are more advanced ones called Z noise, which is a completely other video, which you can record your, um, you can record a different profile. You can extract a different profile by learning and then you can extract it and then apply a different noise profile to something else. And what that does is that creates some really interesting kind of artifacts to the audio, which can trigger some pareidolia. And pareidolia is like how our brains work. We're constantly searching for that uh, lion in the bushes. But uh, for simplicity, we'll just use um, X noise. And bring the threshold up. Right, so you got rid of the noise and it's we're altering the audio. There's some artifacts happening and you can click this little button here. And we can hear just the static, right? And what I'm inadvertently doing is I'm altering the audio so you can't really pinpoint where the source has, uh, has come from. This is from To Catch a Predator, <laughs> like, which is like my new weird kind of ob obsession. It makes me uh, just, you know, the whole Chris Hansen thing is beyond hilarious. So anyway, uh, just a little bit of uh, noise reduction which is what uh, the guitar pedal does. Uh, this is a software version of it, um, uh, kind of an industry standard, been around for a while. Uh, X noise by Waves, can have high resolution, low resolution. So that's a good, that's a good little snippet that we can use to, we ask uh, the spirit or whatever a question. Uh, the, the spirit can respond to, I don't know, or whatever. Uh, there's other things you can do to the audio as well that are pretty interesting. So let's uh, let's add, I guess, uh, guitar pedal emulations. So uh, Mr. Mr. Huff, who, okay, I got a, a chemo brain still. Where am I? I'm looking for a G, got way too many of these things. So I'm gonna uh, drop in, yeah, I guess, uh, a Stomp 4 stereo. So Mr. Huff on his machine, he has a reverb pedal, kind of like this one. And uh, I've always wondered, like, why why have the reverb pedal? Well, it makes it sound a bit more uh, compelling. Um, I guess it's something about reverb spatially that our ears pick up on. And uh, his reason, and I'm not making this up, and this is this is this is interesting. Um, from his own video, now with reverb active, which should allow the spirits to come through as they use it to manipulate and change the source audio. So the spirits actually use the reverb to uh you know to 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 come through whatever that means to come through uh so the reverb in my opinion is basically uh to to put the sound in a space and make it seem a bit more uh compelling and you'll see that uh right away so there's like there's a couple there's so many there's so many different freaking guitar pedals you can experiment with them, um, and uh, for those that are not, for those that don't know how production works, you look at a spirit box, you're like, holy crap. But if you kind of know, you're like, okay, so what, what you're doing is you are taking a, a radio scanning quickly through uh, frequencies that goes into a gate, into a noise reduction, and then into a reverb um, effect, and then into out through the uh, the amplifier speaker but you know it looks impressive if you don't know what's going on so back to my back to my story there's so many different kinds of reverb uh, mr huff doesn't get into uh, the spirit's preferred reverb if i was a spirit i would i think i would prefer plate plate reverb there's plate reverb there's spring reverb there's a lot of different kinds of reverb so uh you know if you want to talk to me when i die just get a plate reverb and we're good to go. So this is the reverb, and this is what it sounds like. So you can be like, hey, what day is it? And you're like, oh, and there's different kind of effects that you can do um, there as well. Um, uh, there's also, 
in some of his video. I can't really see because he obscures uh, the equipment that he's using. You can use a different order. Uh, he uses a pitch modulator, uh, which sounds great on guitar, uh, but I guess it sounds even better on uh, vocals and speech uh, because it's just another layer of obscuring the source material because uh, allegedly he was uh, caught using uh, ASMR videos as a source material for his uh, app, allegedly. So yeah, the, the picture is, he, is here. He's looking for his mom. Did you hear that? He said... Uh, he said something about his mom. Let's get more going on here. I don't see. He doesn't see, so this ghost is a blind person. So let's uh, bring the pitch down. I don't see. And that sounds pretty creepy. And uh, the, the layers of abstraction. So this will go into an amplifier, which he then records through his camera, which is then, it's just these layers of um, things uh, like that. And I'm not even kind of, it's just, you can go, you can go so deep and uh, experiment and create something uh, pretty compelling. But at the end of the day, it's just it's just an amp with a guitar pedal and a radio plugged into it. And the, the, the force of suggestion that uh, that um, is uh, intriguing uh, to people. And I, I find it fascinating because it's just almost like tens of thousands of views and stuff like that. So let's uh, do something else. So uh, I'm like take this audio, and you can use any kind of audio, really, as long as it's speech. So like, just record a little bit of like, you know, public talk radio. This is the one. This. So this one says, "Turn off the lights," and he puts the text there. So you read the text as the uh, the audio is playing, and it, and that is also an added force of suggestion you hear you hear what you read because that's how our brain works what can i make that out to say uh expect expect total tally or something i don't know you can just make something up really uh, i'm not that creative i can't i can't uh I can't BS people. He's in the back. He's in the back. He's behind me, which is uh, an added um, creepiness. So again, there's a lot of haters who are skeptics. Um, I don't know, make your money, dude. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, uh, but I find it, uh, uh, I found it as a, as a way to kind of educate and explain kind of what's happening. Um, and that's basically why I made this video. Anyway, hope you guys learn stuff. Take care and uh, leave your very disappointed comments in the comment section. All right. See ya. Bye.